up guys? Welcome back to Mexico City. Uh, I'm here with my new friend Nathaniel and uh, we're on our way over to Mercado Sonora which is uh, it's a famous market here in Mexico City. Huge market full of everything that you'd expect in a market but uh, on top of that it's also well known for having a ton of witchcraft items. So I'm really looking forward to going and checking it out. Um, I've heard it's a little bit sketchy and uh, Nathaniel's the only one crazy enough to join me on this adventure. So uh, yeah, wish us luck. Um, we're kind of in like the, the sketchy area of town now and the market apparently is a little bit weird too. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think it's just up here on the left. So yeah, what do you think? <laughs> it's definitely different from the center. Uh, definitely. I think we've not really seen another tourist in about 10 minutes. No, but, I don't uh, think we're about to see another one. So. I, I kind of like it. Me too, yeah. This is the best part different. about traveling, man. Um, yeah, I feel better having backup. I wasn't going to come here alone. So, uh, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. But uh, Mexico is actually pretty well known for uh, witchcraft. It's called Brujeria here. And uh, Mexico City and as well uh, Catamaco in Veracruz is actually known as the witchcraft capital of Mexico. So that was interesting. I was gonna go visit there, but it was kind of difficult to get there. Um, so I decided to skip it this time. Uh, I have no idea where we're going now, so I guess probably right here, yeah? All right, so we found the market finally on the outskirts here I guess uh, yeah I'm not 100% sure if it's like indoors or outdoors I don't really know too much about it it's so funny to me that like there's all this kids stuff yeah. and then apparently just in the back is just like this crazy like witchcrafty stuff yeah i can see he's probably in one corner Can't yeah like there. way in the back yeah, yeah. Mm. Over here. Crazy. Yeah, hang it right, sure. So, so far it's pretty calm and it's a lot of toys. I don't think, uh, I don't think I need anything from here. No, it's, uh, I'm not so sure I need anything from the witchcraft part of the market either, but who knows? Maybe somebody put a spell on me. There's some pits. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe over here. Hola. <laughs> Mm, I think we found it. <laughs> oh yeah. I might have to do it. I mean, we're here. We might have to try it. Let's try to find the place. I wonder how much it's going to cost. Not a lot. I wouldn't thought. I would hope not a lot. A couple of hundred months. Yeah. I think it's got to be worth it for the film, for sure. I've got garlic and everything, so... Oh, yeah, I know he's real. Yeah, it's going to be real for sure. No more vampires in my life. I can find out if somebody's cast a spell on me or not. And it's Satan. Yeah, it's like potions almost. A 25 a 25. A 25 
estaban ahí. All sorts of different potions. Literally no idea what any of these do. Like, if they come in powder, if they come in liquid, no clue. Some tarot cards. Some salt. <laughs> so many questions. All right, so we've finally found a place where we can uh, do like a bit of a spiritual cleanse. Uh, what's your name? My name is Sebastian. Nice to meet you. My name is Tyler. Yes, great pleasure. Yes, and uh, are you related to? Yes. Yeah, this is... Yes, yes, this is my mom. Oh, this is your mom? Yes, she is my mom. Okay, great. And so you can maybe translate a little bit uh, what uh, she's saying to me? Yes, but yeah? uh, I know a little bit. Just yes. a little bit. That's okay. I... It's better than my Spanish, so... <laughs> <laughs> we can use the... The oh, translate app if we need? Okay, great. And what is her name? Her name is Santa. Santa. She is in the... Oh, okay. Very cool. She is in the new newspaper of here in Mexico. Oh, okay. There, there oh. is uh, the here. newspaper of the El Gráfico. Interesting. Very and cool. These are some of, my, of our pictures. Okay. In the religion. Yes, you can see this. Right. Also. The Great Chango. I see. My father of Atala. Right. Santa Muerte. Santa Muerte, yeah. Um, so, what what religion are you? Uh, this is religion Yoruba. Okay, so San, it's Santeria. Okay, so it's like uh, local. Yes. Okay, I see. Very interesting. And where are you from? I'm from Canada. Ah. You are to. Hey. Yes, yeah. I'm ready. Listo. Gracias. En nombre de Dios Padre, Dios Hijo y Dios Espíritu Santo. Um, un pasito para atrás. Volteate, date vuelta. Ok. Uh, repeat tu nombre tu nom, tu nom, tres veces. Um, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Okay. Un pasito para adelante. Un pasito para adelante. Te subes arriba del ramo. Step. Tallar los pies. Ok. Ok. Un momento ahí, parado. Párate arriba del ramo. Quédate arriba del ramo. Ahí queda. Ok. Tu mano aquí. Aquí pide todo lo que tú desees. Dile, Sebas, que pida todo lo que quiera ahí para que el ramo recoja lo que quiere. Ok, permíteme. Que pida todo lo que quiera, ¿para qué? Para que lo diga. Very strong smell. <laughs> Salud, protección, bienestar. Okay. Ask for everything you want to be done in this world. Okay. 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 Y que le sople el huevo. Okay. Ajá, soplado. Solo aquí. Y para atrás bajarte del ramo. Okay. okay. El ramo hay que tirarlo saliendo, dime. This bag, you have to throw it off. I have throw to th it. throw it. Yes, uh -huh. in the garbage. In the garbage. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Eh, la limpia le va a servir para quitar todo tipo de situaciones malas. Okay. Okay. Sí. Gracias. Eh, limpia te sirve para quitar todo lo malo. Uh -huh. Abrir mm. caminos. Okay. O sea, so. Traer buenas cosas. Right. So uh -huh. no no bad energies. Buenas energías. Mm. I love you, amor. Yes. This okay. thing love. is from remove your bad energies. Right. And also. Eh, Eh, Energías, buena suerte. Yes, right. Good vibes, good love. En la okay. love, love uh -huh. yes. From your friends. Okay. Yes. Hay armonía con toda la gente. Yeah, you, you will happiness with all the people. Sure, okay, like okay. harmony. A eso yes. sirve la limpia para quitar. Okay. Okay. okay, gracias. Puedes salir, okay. Let me hold for one second. Thank you. Five 
500 pesos, which is way too much money, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm apparently supposed to feel dizzy after this because it's uh, getting rid of my bad energy. Yeah, relax, okay. Okay, and I can pay her now? Okay. Yes. Okay. I will give you my. Okay, okay. please. Yeah. You can film it. And okay. So if you need market. a spiritual cleanse in the market, this is the place to come. Yeah, <laughs> okay, great. Much yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Much yes. Nice to meet you. Okay. Adios. Bye bye. Adios. All right, it happened. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Right, so we've just left the market now. I've got my uh, <laughs> take-home bag of leaves, uh, which I was told I'm just supposed to like toss out. So I guess I'm gonna do that at some point. Uh, I don't know exactly how much 500 pesos is, but I'll put it below. Uh, way more money than you need to spend on something like that. But I searched for like a good 30, 40 minutes trying to find a place to get it done. So we had to do it once we got there. Um, I don't know if it was worth it or not. It was a cool experience. I guess you're not going to get it anywhere else, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a once in a lifetime kind of thing. And uh, yeah, market was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of like random useless stuff. And then just witchcraft items, potions and leaves. And I'm sure you got beads. the tourist price there. Oh, I easily got the tourist there price. There locals queuing up for it. So yeah, exactly. I don't know. They, they, wanted, 500. they wanted 300 uh, and then she wanted five as soon as I wanted to film. Uh, and I, I tried to bargain it, but it wasn't happening. And I waited long enough. I just wanted it done. So, um, and now I think we're going to go try to find some food on the way back, eh? Yeah, I don't think the area is as sketchy as maybe it makes out. No, like I, I heard from a lot of local people that like the, this area you just want to avoid. But uh, I, I think it's just a little bit less like wealthy of an area, but I don't think it's really that sketchy. I don't know if I'd want to come here at night. Uh, no, I think that's a different story. Yeah, but that, that's a different story anywhere. So uh, anyway, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we find some food. I gotta say, I'm a much bigger fan of this area of town. It's like way more authentic. Like the historic district is really cool. And like all the buildings are like so insane, like so cool. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's way more interesting when you actually see like the local areas. All right, so we have stopped and a little taco stand on the side of the road where they're selling five tacos for 30 pesos. So that is probably the cheapest I've found so far and uh, everything looks so good. Muchas gracias. All right. I'm going to put sauce on in a second here, but it's going to kick to it. The red's going to kick? Okay, sounds good. All right. I'm going to top these up with some sauce and whatever else we have. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how they are at the end. So we finished up at the taco place there. Um, like I said, 30 pesos for five tacos. It's about $2 Canadian. You really can't go wrong with that. Uh, they're super good. And uh, yeah, so I think that's going to put an end to a very strange video. Um, don't know if I necessarily recommend the market or not, but uh, it was a cool experience nonetheless. 
And uh, big thanks to Nathaniel for hanging out with me today. He's leaving tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, anyways, take care guys. We'll see you in the next one.